Goliath is the signature coaster at Wallaby Holland in the Netherlands, is an Intamin mega coaster, hit speeds almost up to 70 miles per hour, lots of airtime hills and bank turns. I got about seven rides on this thing and I can tell you, this is a really fun roller coaster. It was my personal favorite in the park, and for those of you in America, probably the ride I would compare it to most is Superman Ride of Steel. The two rides actually have fairly similar layouts. The difference is, I would say that this was done better. The complaints that people had about Superman, including the straight track, too many helixes, that kind of thing, all of that was taken out. They kept the best parts. What Superman does well is has great airtime and has some really fun transitions. So this has even more of those rapid transitions, lots of those nice ejector hills at the end of the ride, and some even crazier elements. And if you want an example of that, look no further than the Stangle Dive. It is the second element after you go through that drop. So you go straight into this huge ejector hill and then you got this 121 degree stangle dive. So it's not considered an inversion. However, you're banking so high off the ground at an angle that it, it's close. That's definitely one of the highlight moments for me, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go through this entire layout. Immediately after leaving the station, you go up a cable lift hill, 154 feet in the air. Those cable lift hills are fast. You're gonna crest over and go into a 151 foot drop. Sends you down at a 70 degree angle. Like most coasters, if you're in the back seat, you're really gonna get pulled over that drop. That's definitely the best place to experience that. And I kind of mentioned that airtime hill right after the drop. Definitely one of the best moments of airtime on the coaster, if not the best. But following that stango dive, you actually go straight into a helix. This is one of the two helixes on this ride, the first one over land and the second one over water. Putting a coaster over the water to me automatically makes a ride more thrilling. And what's really cool about this is because that helix is so low to the ground that you're banking right up against it. So I do prefer that second helix over the first one, but as it's transitioning from one helix to the next and just from different elements, it takes these rapid switches where it immediately changes direction. Now the main thing I would say about these is that I do kind of wish that it took some of those at a bit faster speed. In my opinion, the best place to experience those transitions would be in the front just because you fly through it a lot faster at least what feels like a lot faster of the seven rides i had on goliath most of them were in the morning which has its advantages and disadvantages the main disadvantage being that the coaster hasn't quite warmed up so the best rides we had on goliath were actually at the end of the day after it was kind of going full speed and that's definitely when i think i enjoyed it the most that's just when naturally you take all of those elements at a quicker pace because each time the ride warms up it just gets a little bit faster. I believe I heard in the morning, every single time they sent the train around, it sped up by about two seconds. So that just kind of proves how different conditions can affect how the ride experience is. But of course, one of the really cool parts about Goliath is that return trip. You have three airtime hills in a row. The first of those three consecutive hills I thought gave the best air. The second and third ones, maybe not as much, but that doesn't mean they are bad or anything. I just thought that first one you're gonna take gives the most ejector. And in case you weren't familiar, this coaster does have the T-bar restraints. So same as Dragster, Millennium Force, Superman, all those. So it does leave you feeling pretty exposed because you're nice and open. So the train design and all that is fabulous. But after those hills, that's kind of it. You go into this little small S curve into the brake run and that wraps up your experience. I think in terms of ride time, it's really good. Definitely not a short ride, but I definitely didn't walk off Goliath feeling like overwhelmed or anything. I wouldn't say Goliath is the most extreme roller coaster around. I don't even have to know the layout of the new untamed roller coaster, the RMC hybrid of Robin Hood, to know that that one's already gonna be more extreme than Goliath. I think this coaster also proves that Intamin has gotten better over time because while Goliath's layout is good, I wouldn't call it perfect or anything. So a lot of their newer coasters, it shows that they've kind of worked out those things that they thought could have been better. So I think in general, I really like Goliath. I think you'll always hold a special place in my heart because at the moment of this recording, it's the only coaster I've ever actually operated. So be sure to go check out that operations video. It's really funny. I had a blast working this coaster. So much like how a lot of ride ops, when they work a ride, they're like, that's my ride, that's my coaster. In a way, Goliath is my ride. This is my coaster. I have a physical connection to it because I've worked it. I've dispatched it. I've given the all clear. So of course I like Goliath. How could I not? For its final score, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. If I had to use a word to describe Goliath, it's fun. I don't necessarily think it is going to wow people or leave them speechless, but it is that nice big standout coaster for Wallaby. It leaves you getting off saying, that was awesome, let's go again. It's a very re-rideable ride, which I think is a great character trait. Some coasters, even ones that are too much, you're like, okay, I need to sit out for a bit. 
You could ride this thing all day. So if you're in the Netherlands, I definitely recommend going out to Wallaby Hall and checking out Goliath. Of course, be sure to check out other reviews I've done, including Lost Gravity, one of the other main coasters at Wallaby Hall, and I've done a review of that, and a whole bunch of other roller coasters around the world. You can check them out in a playlist organized in alphabetical order by the coaster's name. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel, and stay tuned for more. Thanks guys for watching. I'll catch you next time.